Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to use Garage, which is a object storage service, you know, kind of an alternative to S3 and Min.io that I very much like and I recommend. And we'll be using this for user uploads for Jibber, which is a federated social network that we we're building. Uh, subscribe to me if you want to follow that progress. Uh, but for today, it is Garage. Uh, we will be using Docker to actually run Garage and uh, same with set up the config uh, file. Uh, so let us look at our garage docker compose service. Uh, this is you know how you can run a defined docker service. Uh, so we have our container name jibber garage, the image which is the um, garage image from the docker site. Uh, and then we open various ports which I'll talk about later. And then the volumes. So we want to copy our garage.toml config uh, from our project into the container, which is uh, etsy garage.toml. That's the default path that garage looks at when it wants to read its config file. And then we also set garage meta and garage data and to the paths that garage will store those data at. And you can set those paths in the config file up here. So metadata and data uh, directories. And then we also have the replication mode. So that's how many times you want your files to be replicated across uh, various nodes. So let's say you have three nodes and you want your each file that you upload to be replicated two times, then you would put two here. But since we're only having one node, we'll just put none. And then RPC, that's how your various nodes communicate with each other and you'll need to set an RPC secret for that. And now we have S3 API. Uh, that's how you actually interact with uh, Garage and let's say you want to upload a file then you would use the API to actually do that. But then let's say you want to look at the file you can do that through the uh, web uh, access. So like let's say you have a jibber bucket uh, you go to jibber.localhost slash whatever file you uploaded. Now that we've covered that, let us actually run our service. So docker compose up. So now that's running. We need to access, there's a binary inside uh, jibber or inside garage that we can use to actually talk to the garage server and configure it. To do that, let's do docker exec dash ti, the container name, so jibber garage, and then the uh, where the binary is, so garage. Now let's go through the setup. And so we are running our server in docker. We'll want to look at the status to look at our nodes. So we just do status. You can see we have one node. We need to set up a cluster layout. Uh, <laughs> let's just copy this as a all programmers do and paste it into here. So let's just follow that. Uh, and we need to set the node ID from here. Now that we have set the layout, we'll need to apply the layout. So first let us look at the layout. Uh, so garage layout show. Uh, I've already set one. So let's just do apply and then version one, uh, version two. So now that it's been applied, Think we can create a bucket yeah create a bucket so garage bucket you can see a list of commands there create nice and then we will want to give it a name so jibber amazing it's been created and we'll want to assign a key to that so i already have a garage key set up in there so Copy this, run it, and then get your ID and secret from that. And we'll next need to apply that key that you've created to the bucket and give it certain permissions. We'll want read, write, and owner. 
bucket allow and then we want read write owner the bucket name so jibber the key so key I called mine app key now it's been applied uh, I think that's all so now we can use our bucket but first let us enable web access so bucket website and then the bucket name so jibber and then I think it's enable maybe or is it allow so it's allow allow so now we can access it through the website Let's upload a file to it first. I'll be using S3, so you have to get the CLI if you want to do this. So AWS, and then we want to set our endpoint, and that will be on localhost, and in the config, remember, we put it to 3,900 for the API. And we want to use S3, we want to copy a file from our documents, I think I put something in jibber public one.jpg and then we'll want to set our bucket. So S3 jibber. Cool. So now that's been set. Let us try to look at it. So let's go to jibber dot localhost uh, colon three nine O2 one.jpg. Uh, that is how you set up a garage server.